So right now is probably one of the best times to become an AMP technician. Shortages are happening across the world and employers are looking for technicians anywhere they can find them. Um, and they're even taking them from each other if they can. Um, Boeing forecasted about 754,000 technicians over the next 20 years just to fulfill the needs that Boeing is projecting on the aircraft that they are um, scheduled to build. So if you want to know more and explore the idea of becoming an aircraft technician, now's the time to do it. Hi everyone, my name is Jared Britt and I'm the director for SUU Aviation's Aviation Maintenance Training Program. In this video, we're going to talk about why AMP technicians are in such high demand right now. And by the end of this video, you'll know why it's one of the best times to start training to be an aircraft technician. An AMP technician is a licensed airframe and power plant technician. That means that they have either worked on aircraft for a certain many years and gotten certified, or they attended a Part 147 aviation maintenance training school just like we have here at SUU. Um, our program is 18 months. Once you're done, you're eligible to test for that AMP license. Um, once you've passed those tests, you are now an AMP technician and you can go work out in the field on pretty much uh, any aircraft that's out there. Um, of course, with some training from the company that you go to work for. An aircraft technician and an AMP technician are pretty much the same thing. Um, there are people that can work on aircraft that aren't AMPs. Those are non-certified technicians. Uh, those jobs are very, very limited, mostly to manufacturing um, or on the job training and things like that. Um, what we offer is the AMP technician. Um, that is somebody that has a license, has a certification, and can go to work, and there are thousands of jobs out there uh, open for those individuals right now. Right now, we're already going through that, and we are going to continue to go through that as we have a large gap right now between retiring uh, technicians and technicians coming in. So there's lots of vacant jobs, lots of opportunities, lots of money to be made. Uh, right now um, at this time for the AMP technician. Uh, the average age right now is between 50 and 60 for most of the technicians in the field um, and retirements are coming up and as those happen and attrition happens there are less and less technicians in the field to fill those spots. Uh, so that's why your pay starts to increase and things start to change in that field for the better. About 65 percent of the industry will be eligible for retirement within the next two to five years. Uh, that's for pilots as well, but technicians also. For every single pilot that flies that aircraft, there's a team of technicians, depending on the size of the aircraft, that have to maintain that um, and make sure that it's safe. Um, and then your workforce gaps right now that we see between ages 20 and 30 and 50 and 60, there's not a lot of people in that area right now. And so as we start to take on more students and fill our programs and other, other programs begin to grow in the United States, we're wanting to service that industry, get you in there, get you making money. And then the aviation industry as a whole is also growing. Um, it's always been growing, it always will be growing, different sectors, um, everything from um, aerospace, just, just your typical manufacturing of aerospace products, to your helicopter industry, to your commercial airline industry, and now we have space as, um, as a new industry that's going to be a breaking ground here, and they'll need technicians to work on those, those um, types of aircraft as well. So as I mentioned before, Boeing needs about 754,000 technicians over the next 20 years, and that is based on what they're scheduled to produce. That is just one company in commercial aviation. That doesn't include all the other sectors of aviation. Um, Airbus has stated that they need 550,000 technicians over the next 20 years to take care of the fleet that they are scheduled to produce. So again, that's over a million technicians needed over the next 20 years, and that is only one sector of aviation. Uh, the helicopter industry is needing over 40,000 technicians just for their specific industry. AMP salaries right now are higher than they've ever been. Um, the union for Southwest Airlines that represents the mechanics, uh, they recently bartered a deal with Southwest Airlines to increase that mechanic pay higher than it's ever been before. Um, and it's because they need to bring people into these jobs, they need to get them filled. There is nothing else that can do this job except a person with their hands on the aircraft. Um, different types of A&P jobs that are out there, you can work on helicopters, you can work on commercial airliners, you can work on general aviation aircraft, you can work in Alaska off of a glacier, you can work in South America, you can work in South Africa, you can work military contracts if you have the experience. There is 
an endless amount of job opportunities worldwide for people that have an AMP license. And that AMP license is recognized throughout a lot of countries. This uh, AMT certificate really is a license to go work anywhere you want, any type of job you want. The AMP license is challenging to get though. You have to go through 18 months of intense training and about 60% of that is hands-on and about 40% of that is book work and lecture. And you spend a lot of time in class tearing apart engines, putting them back together, learning components, uh, hands-on working on aircraft, uh, as well as doing sheet metal repairs and composite repairs and all these other things that you have to learn. But an AMP is not just a mechanic. An AMP is a highly skilled and highly trained technician. They are trained in hydraulics, brake systems, hydromechanical fuel systems, aerodynamics, uh, composite technologies, all kinds of different things that they have to learn and know to be able to do their job and be certified to do their job. So the return on investment for an AMP right now, having gone through a part 147 training school, is better than a doctor, it's better than a lawyer, it's better than a pilot, uh, it's better than just about anything out there because the low cost of entry and the low cost of school versus what the potential is that you can do with that AMP license. We will be offering um, a transition into an aviation maintenance management bachelor's degree that can be done online. So once you finish your AMP license, you can continue schooling at SUU and, and get a maintenance management bachelor's degree. And what that does for you is that opens up those upper management positions um, and those things that really get you moving along in the industry as far as you want to go. So as pay has increased for AMT technicians, uh, guys coming out of school, depending on where they go in the country and what job they choose, uh, you're looking at anywhere between 40 to 60,000 plus to start right now throughout the country. Um, and that is only getting higher and higher as that gap increases. We made a video on what it's like to be an AMP mechanic, which we'll link to. So definitely check that out. If you're interested in becoming an AMP and working on an amazing aircraft, visit our website and request information. We'll send you the info on the program, career options, how to apply, scholarships, and more. You can request information using the link down in the description. If you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up and share the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.